So Intervision Group is a research-based photobiology company. Our focus is developing turnkey solutions for plant production. And we're, so we're focused on food crops, but also we're uh, very involved in the biotech space. So plant-made pharmaceutical, for example. Intervision Light Systems, who, who I represent here in, in Canada, is a, I guess, a tech transfer, if you will, um, marrying our last seven years of R&D cooperation with the university, along with the past 18 plus years of, of, of research and development overseas uh, in Norway. Just across the street here from the OF offices is uh, a facility which is uh, specializes in controlled environments and they collaborate with NASA and the European Space Agencies and, and basically when we met them their task in life was to try and figure out food for long-term space travel. From a commercial perspective it's quite relevant because we can stick a plant inside a chamber and instantaneously play with the variables, play with the light, the intensities, different light qualities, uh, water stress, air movement, CO2, pick your variable. We can mash that up in the, in the chamber and see how the plant's responding. And we get a very instantaneous feedback in trying to develop a controlled environment that's optimized towards that particular plant. Light quality plays a very significant role in what happens chemically inside the plant. So light in general allows the plant to consume carbon dioxide in you know, primary photosynthesis. But what happens after that, the chemistry that happens downstream is what creates the color and the taste and the medicinal compounds that might accumulate in the tissues of the plant. And light quality plays a very, very important role in managing that. But the main subject of the investigations then is to look at how to play with that recipe of light quality and, and create the downstream positive effect in terms of uh, taste compounds in strawberries and basil or medicinal compounds in pharmaceutical commodities. Wow, that's almost like wild strawberry taste. Okay, okay we got a winner here. <laughs> and food production, color. Uh, ornamentals, you know, there's a long, there's a wide range of uh, attributes in ornamentals such as their color, their, their smell, and we can manipulate all of these with environments. What's evolved in LED lighting is uh, the, the efficiency has gone up quite dramatically. In other words, the watts of energy from the plug turned into photosynthetically active radiation from the light uh, has, has increased quite a bit. Uh, to the point now where many of the LEDs are more efficient than any conventional light source. And the, the spectral quality, you can now consider contemplating all kinds of different recipes of spectral quality that would feed sort of the early vegetative stage of a plant to the late reproductive stage. It, it, uh, it photosynthesizes differently under those conditions. Its chemistry is different. It eats differently, so we have to pay attention to nutrient management. And we're learning all of these things because we have now the power that we never had before to manipulate the spectral quality of the light. The color of the light impacts uh, very significantly how a plant behaves. So our gravity flow concept is a high-tech, low-tech solution for growing food or biotech if, uh, if applied that direction. Uh, but right now the first system that we're developing is focused on food and uh, later down the road it will be applied to a biotech application. Uh, but for right now food is, is the focus and we can grow large volumes of food at a very low, low cost point in a very small footprint inside an urban center or close to an urban center like a distribution center for example if we really want to scale this up. Uh, but for now uh, the important thing is to get the, the farm we have up and running in, in Toronto and we're going to learn its efficiencies but the opportunities in the pipeline for, for this uh, novel concept that we have are, are massive. We're a very small company, but we're global. And we're working in this greenhouse uh, space. We're working in the enclosed environment space where we're doing vertical farming projects inside warehouses in you know, dilapidated areas in, the, in city urban centers, for example, uh, which is a really interesting opportunity to sort of regentrify some 
areas that are maybe having economic downturns, it's, it's bringing life back to those areas because we're bringing farming into the urban centers. It's a, it's, it's a fascinating marketplace. You know, as a small company, uh, we're, we're based in Oslo, um, but we have an office here in Toronto, and we also have an office in uh, Shenzhen, China, uh, where we do our, uh, our production. Uh, but from Canada here, we're, we're running the global the sales opportunities and we have our, our hands all over the place now. We're in the U.S., uh, across Canada, uh, Sri Lanka, France, uh, Germany, Norway obviously, Singapore, opportunities in China. We're talking to Taiwan now. It's, it's incredible the amount of opportunities that, that are in the space.